Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kim Casey. I'm a former member of the House, four terms. Um, I see a lot of my fellow um, ex-state representatives, Larry and Bob. I'm here tonight to uh, talk to you about the candidacy of Maggie Hassan, why I'm supporting her, and why I hope you'll consider supporting her as well. Maggie is, as you know, um, running for governor and was a senator. She ran in a district that was very much a swing district, so Maggie knows how to bring people together and to garner votes from both sides of the aisle, as well as independents. Maggie and I go way back, well before my political career and well before her political career. I sat on the school board for, I can't even remember how many terms. How long is hell? Yeah, it's about that long. Um, and I got to know Maggie during that time because she was very much involved in education. She has an adult son who is very much compromised by some issues and has had to work with him and this public schools. And so Maggie knows education. She worked very well with people in the state house to um, enact bills such as same-sex marriage and I, it, it, the list is almost ridiculous. I mean, we really got a lot done in the last four years when we had a Democratic majority. And I think one of the major things we need to ask ourselves is what will happen if we don't have a Democratic governor in the corner office? That is a compelling reason to consider Ch Ma Maggie Hassan. I think she's the person that can really bring people together to win that office. We do need somebody to be in that office that can support Democratic values and yet be appeal to all independents as well as Republicans and Democrats. So you have a long night. I'm not going to take any more time. There's information over on the tables. I hope you'll consider Maggie, and thank you very much. And I never want to speak after John. He's always really good. <laughs>